Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the first episode of the Rogue Cannon Gaming Podcast. I'm here with Clue and Killswitch Theory 7. Both are gamers who I'm quite fond of. Um, yeah, and we're here today to talk about multiplayer gaming in general. We have a ton of topics, including some news, some upcoming games, and just some general discussion about some of the more popular games of 2010. Um, so, is there anything you guys want to say before we start? Hello. That is all. That is excellent. And Clue, anything for you? Any um, introduction? Yes, I am Clue, and I'm not the board game, so don't forget <laughs> it. He's not the board game, don't forget that. I'm not the board game. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll continue on with our, our little uh, banter of games here. All right, so this podcast is basically, um, it's all about online gaming, discussions, impact that games have had on the I mean, multiple genres. We're not just talking about any kind of game here. Um, basically, we're planning on doing a bunch of casting of popular games like StarCraft II, League of Legends, and things like that. And we're also trying to do some reviews, things like that. I had an old channel on YouTube. I haven't actually uploaded anything on a while, but I had mentioned that I was planning on doing a podcast. So anybody that's followed my old YouTube channel, which was AA Corruption, that channel is kind of debunked now, and it'll be moved to this Rogue Cannon one, so anything from there is going to be here. Um, so, Clue, we've been playing a lot of League of Legends lately. Yes, a lot. A lot of it. In fact, so much so that I couldn't play any today, because I was totally burnt out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Killswitch has played it. I'm not sure how fond he is of it. Um, I'm liking it. It's um, kind of interesting. It's a different kind of RTS. It was kind of hard getting used to um, multi-managing, but only using one unit while you're doing that. It's it's different. I'm liking it, though. For anybody yeah. who's not familiar with what League of Legends actually is, it's, um, it's made by one of the developers who made Dota, Defense of the Ancients, which was Warcraft 3, very popular map. Um, Essentially, it's two teams um, fighting against each other, five on five, and you choose from a selection of heroes or champions. Um, you know, the different classes, you're kind of like your tanks, your DPS kind of thing. And basically, it's just a micromanagement arena kind of thing. You only have one unit, he's your hero, you have a bunch of abilities, and you, you basically just duke it out using your knowledge of other characters and <clears> abilities, and it's, <throat> it's pretty interesting, so. Yeah. Anybody hasn't checked it out, it's free. So, you know. Yeah. Join us on definitely, that. Definitely a really it's a really good free game. Like, um they basically how they set it up was is that there's free champions every week and uh so it allows you to kinda experience all the champions over the course of, you know, several months. Um every week they put new a new rotation out and they try to keep it balanced, you know, they'll have like two tanks, two DPS, two caster, things like that to, you know, make sure it's not too one-sided and it allows you to kind of experience all the types of characters and, and, and different characters like like you know so it, it's, it's really good and um, it's, it's a very well balanced game for being free yeah it's 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 pretty balanced I mean obviously there's always you know the the better the better heroes the worst heroes but um, in the end I mean a, a, a very skilled person can take a, a really bad hero and still you know come to the top. Um, it's well, there is a a, a a a a tier kind of like a higher and a lower tier. It's 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 not really that well defined, uh, yeah. except for Gargus. But <laughs> well, Gargus, he's a tier all on his own there. Yeah, pretty much. He's definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say if he's bad or good. I'll just let people figure that out. Oh, I'm um, sure they'll figure it out pretty fast. Yeah. So League of Legends, um, there's a lot planned for that game in the future. It's increasingly popular and. Supposedly, they're adding a replay feature in the next yeah. couple months. Um, depending on when they do that, we plan on casting that. So, um, yeah, casting League of Legend, uh, League of Legend games, and um, you know whether it's just one person or, or all of us, you know, yeah. uh, putting out putting out tips and, and little ways to maybe improve your game or. Or just maybe even just finding some replays that have really cool like plays in it, like you know pentakills and yeah and, and things like that. You know, make like a little montagey type thing out of them. 
Yeah. But, As for casting, I'd probably try and focus on the higher tier players. But I mean, yeah. if people want to send us in things, even even if they can find a way to do it now, like if somebody can send us a video of them playing, um, you know, maybe we could try and cast that for them. Um, so yeah, if if there's anything anything you else you want to say about that, Matt. Um, I don't really have all that much to say about uh, League of Legends or LOL, as it can be abbreviated as. Um, <laughs> it's 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 a good solid um, RTS. It's different. Um, if you're looking for a challenge and looking to get your ass kicked on the internet, then it's which will happen the first few games. Play. It will I happen. Find, I find a Dota Dota type games. I guess they're calling them MOBAs, multiplayer online battle arena. I guess is the yeah, genre name. Yeah, that's I think that's what yeah. they're calling them nowadays. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of these kind of games planned in the future. Uh, actually, Valve has trademarked the Defense of the Ancients name, um, according yeah. to news sites. So that's something to look for in the future. I heard, also, I heard that. I yeah. heard that. Did that, and they're probably going to end up making making their own uh, thing, which is it's all right. I mean, uh, uh, Valve Valve is a good company, uh, even if their you know their priorities aren't always um, you know on the well, on the right my, game. Cough, cough, Half-Life 2, uh, Half-Life 2 Episode yeah, 3. Episode 3. <laughs> well, see here, here's my issue with Valve uh, making a Dada game is that uh, it might end up being Left for Dead, and uh, that concerns me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, definitely check out League of Legends. I mean, it's free, and, and you anything you can pretty much, any champion you want, um, you basically, you get in-game, like, uh almost like a currency that you get for winning games, and you can use that to buy champions that you'll permanently have forever. Yeah. Or if you f- if you like the game a lot, you can, you know, fork over, you know, 35 bucks or something and get, like, a whole bunch of champions. So, I mean, it's, it's really good if, you know, if you uh, if you have the money and you really like it. So. Um. Well, on the topic of casting, um, we should also mention that we have some similar plans for StarCraft II in the future also. Yes. Um, casting has become increasingly popular on StarCraft especially. And, um, you know, obviously casting... I, I actually do not own the game yet. I played it in beta. And I had some problems with it in beta, so I, I didn't rush out and get it right away. Um, you know most of my problems were with balancing and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, they haven't really done too much. They did a little bit, but I mean, obviously, you know, it's Blizzard. They're going to try to, um, uh, they're going to try to fix, this, you know, and, and try yeah. to make everyone happy because I think it's that's just what they do. Yeah, I think it's pretty widely known that Terran seems to be the powerful. Is you know, they seem to be the most uh, impacting race in the game right now. Like, yeah, they're they're they don't really have much weaknesses. They do have weaknesses, but not many. So they're kind of Everyone says they're the most overpowered, and and I I tend to agree, but I also think that it, it doesn't mean that you know you're gonna lose every game. To yeah, parent. they're beatable. Yeah. I just find most of their counters seem to be far too low tier. It seems like by the time you can make something that they have to counter, you know they've already hit the tech that they can counter, and it's not too much of a problem. Yeah, yeah. Especially sure. with a lot of these mech builds where they're getting pretty much everything they need like early on. Yeah, well, yeah, with the, I mean, you look at Vikings, that's like a tier one air unit, I mean, you can get that out, like, right away. Vikings basically counter, you know, Mutas, Broodlords, uh, Void Rays, everything. I mean, even yeah. Marines counter half this stuff alone. Not to mention the, the... Eric's, right? Yeah, how well they take out Colossus, too. Um, yeah, and, and, and the Colossus with, you know, being so tall, I guess, that they, they, they anti-air hits them, which... I mean, I can see them doing that, you know, maybe because they do get hit by anti-air stuff, maybe they should increase their shields a little bit or something, yeah. kind of even that out. But, I mean, let me tell you, a Colossus with the extended thermal lance, like, that thing eats eats up armies so yeah. fast. There's a, and also with a Colossus, it can walk over your own units. It basically has no hitbox. So you can have the Colossus, like, standing on your stalkers that are shooting at stuff. Yeah. And have your I found... Run. Yeah, I found a lot of the problems were that the uh, the Vikings could come off and pick uh, yeah. the Colossus and get away without like yeah, even one of them being focused down. So yeah. I don't know, they might want to work on the range with the Vikings. I yeah, actually think a lot of the balance problems do lie in how well Terran take care of air. 
you know, I'm not a Diamond League player or anything because I haven't played the game since beta, but um, that was the problem I always had. It seems like a lot of the powerful things that you can build as Protoss or as Zerg are just so easily countered by Vikings and the like. Yeah. So. It yeah. Seems like that, like, Terran has, you know, it does have weaknesses, and it's just really difficult to expose them. And I think, like, a well-seasoned player playing as a Terran against a well-seasoned guy playing against, like, Zerg is probably going to end up going in the favor of the Terran guy. That yeah. seems to be the way it's going. I've seen a lot of really good players lose, make themselves look really bad, just because the matchup, just everything they could do, it was, like, countered. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to say too much bad about the game. I mean, Blizzard has always been really uh, really heavy on just making their games really quality. And I think StarCraft II is a quality game. I just think that some of the, the balancing just in beta anyway. It, it, I don't know, it deterred me from buying it at launch. I'll probably still get it this week sometime. Maybe we can, we can put up a review or something of that. But yeah. um, Something um, I was actually surprised about about StarCraft II is I didn't expect it to look as good as it did. Yeah, they, they retained how StarCraft does look. They managed to make it look like StarCraft and play like StarCraft, but look quite a bit better. Yeah, so. they made it look like StarCraft, and then, yeah, again, feel like StarCraft. But, you know, just as if StarCraft came out now, basically, like and, like, yeah. all the effects and the presentation was really phenomenal, and it looked way better than I expected it to when yeah. I first saw it. Yeah. What, what do you guys... What do you guys th feel? How how do you feel? I guess about the the fact that there's there were already two pre-planned expansions for StarCraft Two. Um, I thought it was the biggest milk in history, and we're talking about a company that's you know owned by Activision here, and um, well, obviously Activision is the most popular with gamers, and they're famous for milking things, you know. Um, Guitar Hero got milked massively. All, Tony Hawk, pretty much all that kind of stuff. So oh, yeah, uh, you, you see, you see Activision just sucking everything. Yeah, they seem to they seem to be uh, pretty up there in the list of people who like to milk. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, for lack of a better even, word, even Blizzard. I mean, uh, like they weren't too bad back in the day, but now with um, uh, you know World of Warcraft, they're they're milking. Everyone yeah, just they have, well, they've it. they've hit their gold mine, and they'd be stupid <laughs> to try and you know pull out now. Um, yeah, I mean it's unfortunate, really, because I you know the uh, like with Cataclysm, Outlands is literally an empty zone. Like, yeah, it's, see, I, it's I'll completely s bare. It's a it's a wasted like it's just a wasted amount of effort by Blizzard yeah. to make this beautiful landscape. You know, like Nagra and all these floating rocks and all this stuff. It, this beautiful landscape that's just, it's gone to waste. All those, like, months and months of them, you know, working away at this, this, like, you know, chunk of land is, is basically, it's never going to be used. I mean, you know, every once in a while you get some guy leveling up in the zone, but I mean, yeah. really, you know, it, it, I mean, it's just I, kind of, it's just kind of sad, in yeah. my opinion. I did the um, Burning Crusade trial recently. And I'll get into why I'm just trying Burning Crusade now, uh, maybe a little bit later in this discussion. But yeah. um, this was after Wrath of Lich King was out. And I went on some of my old level 60 characters and took them through um, Burning Crusade to like level 68 or something like that. And I never saw a single person the whole time. Yeah. I mean, exactly it's, right. I think that's a very poor model for expansions. Yeah, um, I know. It's like after once Cataclysm launches... What's the, uh, what, what about um, Northrend, right? Yeah. Like, and see, that's, like, I'll stand firm that they do make quality games still, but I think some of their, their choices, I mean, I see what they're trying to do now. The idea is that they're trying to get everybody back in Azeroth, right? Yeah. From okay. levels 185. And that's good, because that's the way the original All game right. was. You know, the yeah. original game was like that, and I liked that, because no matter what level you were, there was always somebody in your zone, because there was no other world to go to. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I liked that fact about the game, but um, I don't know, I it think... It definitely feels like they're, they're really milking, milking yeah. it for every cent of money, which, I mean, you know, they're a company, they're there to make money, you know, they're not there to, uh, uh, you know... Uh, you know, save the world from, you know, um, disease and, and hunger. They're there to make money. And, 
you know, depending, you know, I don't know what 